Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Scripture is tonight will be coming from Ephesians chapter 6, beginning at verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6, beginning at verse 11, ending at verse 13. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Amen. Yes. 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 Won't you let him in? Let him in. Won't you let him in? Thank you. 
you to say to me, pray for me that I let the Lord in completely into my life and bless me with everything he wants me to do and move me through the straight and narrow way. I want to serve him righteously, perfectly, and honestly in my heart. I want to let him in my heart fully in my life and in my spirit. Keep me in prayer. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Lord. Thank you. We'll be back in the house of God one more time. Uh, in spite of the weather and everything. I always say, Lord, uh, I woke up early. I said, Lord, I got to, you know, I'm ready for service. God bless you. And I was, uh, uh, I was thinking about the message uh, Wednesday when we had Bible class. The man of God was saying that. He said, you know who you are. Who you is? Warfare. And the brother came to word this morning. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. And I was, and I thank the Lord. And the, and the man of God, he said, was, he said, uh, have you counted the costs? You got to count the costs. These guys know when they sign up for, uh, for war, going off the military, yeah. that it's a good chance that they may, back, may not make it back home. That's right. So, Corey, I know Corey, he's a, he's a military guy. And as a young man uh, growing up, I had always wanted, that was one of my determinations to get to the military because my grandfather was in the Air Force. My dad was in the Air Force. His brother was a Marine. So it was all my, my desire to go to the military. And so when I took the test at 18, uh, Brother David, I uh, failed the test. And back then in 1985, when I came out of high school, uh, you had to wait to take the test. You had to wait six more months. Mm -hmm. When I failed the test, the recruiter said, he said, son, he said, I'm sorry, you didn't make it. You know, and I failed on my knees because I, I, I was crying because I wanted it so much. You know, I wanted to become a man. You know, I want to, I want to be led. I want to be taught. You know, uh, so I was like, because you know, my, my my father, praise God for him that he got me here. But you know, my father was an alcoholic. My, my father, they, they just they, he liked to drink all the time. And uh, and then uh, and, and before that, uh, being born, uh, my mother, my mother, when they were separated, her and my dad were separated, and while while they were separated, someone killed my mother. She was strangled to death. And so that's and I was just three years old when that happened. So that that just a little something what God has done in my life. Yes, so y'all understand why I praise God so much. Why I praise the magnified God so much. But I know I'm gonna say one thing, uh, my dad, when I except the Lord at 15, he didn't get me from born to church or nothing, but you know, he was he, once he lost his wife, our mother, you know, he married a father. So the kids we had to defend for myself and the baby of three kids have an older brother and an older sister, both of them in Texas. And so we had to sort of defend for ourselves. And our grandmother was going senile. We always got burnt up in the fire. And, and, and so the state came and got us and put us in different uh, 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 in orphanages. So that just, these are some of the many things, just some, a few things that God has done for me. Now back to get back on point. I wanted to go in the military. That's why I wanted directions. And I, when I saw when I did pass the test, I fell on the knee and I was just crying. I said, I said, man, he said, well, son, you got to wait six more months uh, uh, before you take the test again. And by the end, I, I think I went to Detroit and I have a aunt in Detroit. So I had some, had some time for But my song this morning was, I, I didn't make it in that military. <laughs> but I'm, a, I'm in the army of the Lord. I didn't make the physical, the natural man. Military. But thank God I got in Jesus military. Amen. And I, and I signed up for this thing. I know what, what this you were talking about. It's going to cost you your life. You, you, know, you got to sell out for the Lord Jesus. So you got to give it your all. It's if this man come after me, you have to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow him. So my song is this morning that I, I, I understand that I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. And if I die, Die in the army of the Lord. When he gave that message, when the soldiers know they got to go out to war, they done kiss the families, they done uh, uh, kiss the babies and the wives, and, and, and put the dog, the pets away because they may not come back. Right. And in this journey, we, we walk with the Lord. Amen. So when I, I when I come to church, that's why I always like I want to give God some praise. And magnify him so much because it's even, the scripture, even the scripture said, whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all thy might. Do it with all thy might. For for they say, for there, there is no there is no device. There is there is 
He said, there's no, there's no wish, there's no wisdom, there's no knowledge in the grave. Where did I go? That's the Ecclesiastes. And I was just saying, Lord, I said, so Lord bless me. That's why y'all know, know it's me. I'm always trying to give the Lord my all because we don't know. And some that's the experience of back in my life. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take up too much time, but I just want I just want to share that love. When y'all see, y'all see brother, brother Hamilton, when he comes in here, why he why he wanna get the Lord? That's that's one of the reasons why I want to give him praise. Now, this is this is my song and my testimony for the Lord Jesus. That I made it in his army. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a soldier. Oh, my God. 
and the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God for Pastor Butler. I appreciate them picking me up this morning. Amen. In Tallahassee. Amen. I said, I don't know who's coming, but I hope somebody come get me. Amen. Because I don't want to like them this church. Amen. Because this is my salvation. Amen. I call Jesus my rock. And I praise God for being here today. May God continue to bless you. I want to sing a little song. I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you what's the matter with me, you just tell them I'm saved. Sanctified. Holy Ghost filled. Baptized in the name of Jesus. And I'm running for my life. Amen. I thank God for salvation. Praise God for you being here in Jesus' name. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life.
Maybe to the hospital today or not, but tomorrow is a new day, but I don't know. Jesus. 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 Story. You don't have no rights. 
That's why you restore your rights when you're released from jail. They take your rights away in jail. You do, you wake up when they say wake up, you go to bed whether you want to or not, you go to bed when they say go. When the brother said lights out, lights out. Jesus, Jesus. No exceptions. When they say wake up breakfast, it's breakfast or no breakfast. <coughs> you sick, and I was in there because they took me off my high blood pressure medication in process. And I'm staggering in and out of there. My body, which was Gertrude. Y'all better get in there and see about this girl. <laughs> and thank God for my bunny. Because if it had not been for her, I might be dead today. They came in, they gave, got me back on my medication. I became stabilized. And I'm here today Jesus. to Jesus. talk about it. Amen. So, Amen. freedom we have walking around yeah. one another not speaking to each other there's nothing to compare to the freedom that you get in God the word freedom well it's my right I got freedom I got rights but honey you don't have nothing without God on your side nothing and I like to thank God for it because God has been good to me. He saved me. He brought me from a life of crime, drugs, and prostitution for that matter. But I want to thank God for it today. He didn't take me in my sins. the righteous to pray with me and for me that I continue to be a servant in the house of God.
take the time to give God thanks in public to allow me to pass my CNA certification at age 17. So I just want to thank God for giving me the knowledge that He allowed me to have at a young age. This morning, we do want to give all thanks and praises. So we will give a hand, a clap for God being so good. Made it out today. God, he didn't have to do it, but He did. And I can thank and praise the Lord for that this morning. Thank and praise the Lord for keeping us through the night, waking us up this morning, yet closing our right mind. Thank and praise the Lord for keeping us through the rain, the storm, because we know everything is the work. God. Yes, yes. And I just want to thank and praise the Lord for that this morning. Thank and praise the Lord for our pastor, Pastor yes. Butler. Thank God for him being my husband. Yes. Thank God for the word of God that yes. we do hear from time after time. That's why I'm here. I want to continue walking up this holy highway running for my life. And I thank and praise the Lord for that opportunity this morning. Thank and praise the Lord for also for uh, my brother, uh, Bishop Pye River. Thank yes. God for him. Yes. Thank and praise the Lord for uh, Minister Corey. Thank God for him. Thank God for St. Brother Lee. How the Lord bless him to be out this morning. And thank and praise the Lord for all other brothers and sisters in the house of prayer this morning. Thank and praise the Lord for St. My son-in-law, Vernon Moore, here this morning. Thank God for him. Leon, uh, Butterfly, and Caleb's dad. Praying my uh, daughter, Sabrina, husband. I thank and praise the Lord for being so good. I do want to thank and praise the Lord for Brother Sister Hampton. How they've been faithful, the uh, being in service and praising the Lord here and rejoicing in the Lord, being a great example for us. Thank and praise the Lord for the song, the praises that came from them this morning and testimonies as well. Thank and praise the Lord for that. We do want to take the time out to um, say thank and praise the Lord for the good things that the Lord is doing in our life. I thank and praise the Lord for our young people. What a mind to render praises unto the Lord. We thank and praise the Lord for you all. That y'all will keep praying. Keep crying out to the Lord because he is with you and he will take care of you. Y'all have two days, I think, in school this week or three. Pray three days this week. Y'all get up on Wednesday or Thursday or Wednesday. Um, Carissa, what day is last year for you all? Tuesday? Carissa, all right. We thank and praise the Lord for my granddaughter, Carissa. Carissa has something. I'm going to give her space to share what she had going on in her life. I thank and praise the Lord for how the Lord blessed her to receive her um, CNA, how she had passed it. She worked real hard for that. So pray for her being 17. God, that greater things for you, stay with the Lord, Carissa, and he will continue to open up doors for you. And, um, and she do need our help with um, a project that she's working on. I'm going to allow her space to share with us what she, what she if we can be assistant to her, even tell somebody else how to get in contact with her to complete uh, another certificate that she's working on. So, Carissa, if you can come forward right brief for me, please. No mother, it's all right. You don't know yet. It's all right. It's all right. Amen. All right, come on. Amen. Greetings, everyone. Um, I will like, I'm looking forward to receive another certification. And for by me, if those who do not know, is for by me is the people who draw your blood. And I need 30 sticks for that, which is I have to stick you in the arm. If you're afraid of needles, that's totally okay. But I would like some help. If you would like to help me out, you could meet me after service, and I can get you the information you need. Thank the Lord for that. All right. She's the Lord bless her. I know somebody here is a witness that uh, she did all right. Brian, you all right, Brian, over there? Oh, she did a good job. For Breon and a couple more people and Joshua. Thank God for they can their witness. They are talking about the service. They are right. She did an excellent job what I seen too on the video. So we give the Lord thanks and praise for her. Give a hand clap for her. Her desire. Thank God for the parents and the Lord and continue to bless her family as well. We do want to take the time out to say on um, next Sunday, Lord's willing service will be in Tallahassee. It is our youth and young adult service so we prepare y'all prepare yourself for that service and also the fourth monday prayer 
from 7 to 9. Please put on your schedule to come out so we can cry out to the Lord because we do need the Lord in a time like this. And also on the fifth Sunday service, it will be in Tallahassee unless some changes. Uh, service will be in Tallahassee. Also, we do want to take the time out to thank the brothers and sisters who already contribute for our end of the year sacrifice. Brothers, uh, uh, Unity Brothers, $300. Sisters, uh, 150 This is all going to us, the work of the Lord. The envelopes is in the back, back there on that table. Take your time out, fill it out, your name, date, and uh, the amount, and put it in the box here. Um, everything that you turn in will be recorded, and you will receive um, the, in, the um, I'm sorry, the amount that you contribute. Everything you contribute, tithes and offerings, along with this special offering, it will be, um, you will receive that for your tax. Um, this morning we will be here for our musicians, for our songs, for the offering, and for our pastor. We do thank, and thank the Lord for everyone that's here. Continue to tell others about us here at 4952 Old St. Augustine Road. Listen to our broadcast every Sunday afternoon from 3 to 4 on WSTG, 7.30 a.m. dial. You can find other information on our website, peacebe.org. Thank you, saints of God. Continue to pray for me while I pray for you. Our for scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians 9, chapter, verses 6 through 8. But this I say, he was so sparingly, shall reap also sparingly. He was so abundantly, shall reap also abundantly. Every man, according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth the children forgive him. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he is dispersed abroad, he is given to the poor, and his righteousness remains forever. Everything is moving by the power of God. Oh, everything is moving.
Jesus. 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 Jesus.